here at Fiesta Floats, and it turns out that The Bachelor is having a float this year. I'm with Chris Harrison now. Chris, tell me, how did you guys decide to have a float in the parade? Well, doesn't it seem obvious? I mean, is, if there is a show that has ever made the rose more famous than ours, I can't think of it. So it just seems like such a natural fit that The Bachelor would have a float. We premiere Monday night, live premiere event on ABC. The Tournament of Roses, that's all we do is hand out roses, and so... Our float behind you, 25,000 roses strong. Wow. Yeah, pretty cool. 25,000 roses. I glued every one together. Oh, I bet you did. That must have been a lot of work. <laughs> it, it was stunning, all the volunteers that came in. I think they all left about 4 o'clock this morning. Yesterday, this whole float was pretty bare. Wow. And so the work that they do, it really is stunning when you see it up close. And you know that everything on this float is natural, all the way down to some corn stalks brought in from Iowa from obviously our bachelor now Chris Souls is from Iowa so we brought corn from his field and it's on the float. Wow now tell me did any of the ex-bachelors help decorate this float? They have been around all week I kind of got out of it I cheated because I've been home in Dallas uh, celebrating the holidays but yeah it's kind of the fun part is we have a lot of our bachelor family here to celebrate they've been here all week kind of helping out with the float and being a part of it and uh, we are we're, we're kind of one big happy family we've been doing this for 13 years and so um, I know it's a TV show but you know these people mean a lot to me so it's been fun it'll to be, hang out it'll with be them. a really fun day and, and the Rose Bowl tradition is awesome I, yeah. I grew up watching the Rose Bowl watching the Rose Bowl parade to be a part of it we were fortunate enough to be on a float uh, 10 or 11 years ago so we kind of have an idea of what it's going to be like it's sort of a long day but you get to just wave at people and spread happiness and joy and it's it's a, that's a kind of a cool thing and you know talk about what it's been like to watch others after you succeed and what is your advice to people who come on the bachelor you know, I, I feel very maternal towards them. You know, as a mother, I feel very maternal, obviously, already. But um, I do, in a way, do feel like, you know, we're joking about me being called the godmother. I do, in a way, feel that connection to them. And I want them all to be successful because I, I'm in love with this man and, and how we met. And I want them all to feel that feeling and and be able to reach, you know, 11 years of marriage like we have. So um, it's a really personal thing for me. Um, but as a fan of the show, I just want them to be successful as well, you know. And what do you have any advice for this next Bachelor? Uh, yeah, I was actually just talking to him. And I think he's going to be great. Chris, is uh, that's the first time I've ever spoken to him. And he just he has a really great first impression. It seems like a humble guy who's in it for the right reasons so my advice was just to enjoy it enjoy the experience um, you know keep it keep in mind who he is and where he came from and that sort of stuff and if he keeps his priorities in line and, and has a good time with it I think he's going to be tremendously success successful he's, he's got all the intangibles I'm excited for him like Trista said we love watching the show and the people that come through it and and, and we always hope for their their success and then it's no different. Joined by Chris Souls, the hottest bachelor now. Tell me, what's it like to be the next bachelor? Uh, it is, uh, it's pretty crazy. Um, uh, it's been a lot of fun. I mean, this is, this is going to be really exciting to be in the Rose Parade, and go to the Rose Bowl. Uh, kind of a dream come true, something I've always wanted to do. I was going to wait to come to the Rose Bowl until my Hawkeyes made it here, but uh, I guess I'm coming a little early, which uh, I'm excited to do. Now, have you ever watched the Rose Parade on TV? Uh, yeah, I actually have. Growing up, I can remember watching the Rose Parade prior to all the games coming on. Um, so I'm excited to be a part of it. Well, I know the world is excited to watch you. What are you hoping for out of The Bachelor, really? I came here to find love. I came to be The Bachelor to find love. And that was my number one goal. And uh, it worked well.